Hello! Today we are going to go over how to place an image directly inside an actual spreadsheet cell using the image spreadsheet function. If you've used sheets for any length of time, you've probably already learned how to insert a basic image into the sheet. If you haven't done this before, normally you just click on insert and then select image, navigate through your computer or drive to insert the image, and it will appear on the spreadsheet. Now this is fine for really simple situations, but it becomes a lot more problematic when you start trying to work with the sheet, doing things like inserting rows. Here, you'll see what happens when I try that, and it's because the image isn't actually tied to the interior of the cell. Instead, it's just sort of floating above the spreadsheet. To have an image be a part of a spreadsheet in a more functional way, you want it actually inserted into the interior of the cell. To do that, we are going to type equals image, and then in quotes, place the URL of our image. Here you'll notice that the image has been automatically fit to the size of the cell, which is already a helpful feature. But what happens if I go and add a row to the spreadsheet now? You'll see that the image file stays in the cell and attached to the appropriate row, making it much easier to work around. You can fine tune this a little more if you want to as well. Right now, the default option is for the image to be scaled to the size of the cell that you type the command in. That way, if I increase the size of the cell, the image grows with it, but it will always maintain a constant aspect ratio. If, for some reason, I need the image to fit the cell exactly, I can add the number 2 command after the URL, and the image will now stretch to fit the cell, no matter how I manipulate it. Another option is to use the number 3 option. This makes the image the size of the original image file, and it's not going to change when I resize the cell. The final option is number 4, which will be followed by two more numbers. These numbers specify the exact size of the image, so I can tailor it to be any size that I want it inside of a given cell. Alright, that's it for inserting images into sheets. I hope you found this helpful, and if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching.